Vegas, and I have started, ooh, where's my book? Here it is. I have started For the Wolf, and I am about 100 pages into it, and I am really enjoying it so far. I feel like it started off in a way that I really enjoyed. It was very intriguing. There were some mysteries going on that we didn't know about that were hinted at, so it made it you it kind of drew you into the story more i wanted to know what was happening so that was very fun i also really like the atmosphere in this story it's very dark cold magical wood which i love the magical wood setting i think it is just one of the most atmospheric settings that can be in a book so i absolutely love that about this book it gives me a little bit of those bear and the nightingale vibes with the like northern cold magical woods and the very ancient dark very powerful being within the woods um so yeah, I'm really liking it. I like the main character, Red, so far. I think she is interesting. I think she's going to be fun to be able to follow and um, kind of see things from her perspective. But yeah, I'm not really too terribly far into it. Uh, the drive down was long. I mean, it's a drive, whatever, right? Uh, and Vegas is hot. So it's about 100 five degrees I think outside today so that's a little warm we did go and walk down the strip for a while that was fun we got some very large slushy ish drink and that was a lot of fun drink that as we walked uh, went to see the Blagio fountains which I posted on my Instagram story I'm so basic I love going and seeing the Blagio fountains every time we come to Vegas I never get sick of it. I could sit there and watch them for an hour and not get over it. Also, there are a lot of helicopters that fly overhead. What is up with that here? But anyways, uh, so tomorrow, probably going to go to the pool, get some reading in then. And then on Monday is when I have my conference. And so I, all day Monday, I'm going to be in the conference. So hopefully I'll get some reading done tomorrow at the pool. And then I, pro I might update you tomorrow, but we do have during the day I'm going to read but then in the evening we do have plans with friends and then on Monday I'm going to go to the conference so there's a possibility that I will update you tomorrow but it might not be until Monday after the conference or maybe once I get home from driving we will see but I am hoping to get some more reading in because I'm really loving this it's a book that I just can't wait to get back into and read more of which I've been needing in my books and it's just easy for me to read so yeah I'm loving it so far
Hi guys. So got home from the hike, uh, took a shower, of course, and look okay. It's fine. We're going with it because I finished for the wolf, which was great. I actually liked it quite a bit. I thought the ending, ending was pretty interesting. I'm very interested to see where the next one goes. I feel like my overall thoughts, this is very Sarah J. Mass-esque. It felt very much like a Court of Thorns and Roses series. I went into it expecting it to be like a Little Red Riding Hood retelling and it kind of had a little bit of nods to that fairy tale, but it definitely felt more like a Beauty and the Beast retelling, which is why the Court of Thorns and Roses, but also like the personalities of the characters they felt like were very similar to personalities of characters in that series. So if you really enjoyed that series, I think you would really like this one a lot. I thought that the atmosphere in the wood was very well done for the most part. I liked it a little bit better towards the beginning and then it kind of, I don't know, it just it wasn't quite as atmospheric for me after a little while, but it still was really good. I definitely, definitely enjoyed it. I am very interested to see where it goes with like the actual plot and the magic system and that stuff. I'm just really kind of looking forward to seeing where that goes in the next book, which I think comes out sometime next year, maybe June of next year. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not positive. I think it's called For the Throne. Um, but yeah, overall, I think maybe a three and a half stars for it. It was good, but I wasn't absolutely in love with it. I I don't know. I am not super into those characters who really know nothing, but then act like they should be taken everywhere on these dangerous missions and then kind of mess things up sometimes. That bugs me a lot in books, so that's something I didn't enjoy. But overall, it was pretty good, and I did enjoy the book. Thank you guys so much for picking it. It was a lot of fun and it was a really fast read. So I got invested in it and went through it really quickly, which is something I do enjoy in books, especially to kind of break up the longer books that I do read. So yeah, those are my thoughts overall. Let, let me know down in the comments if you've read this, what you think about it, or if you're planning on reading it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.